Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to install Oracle Analytics Server. This is the new product from Oracle. Oracle Analytics Server is the on-prem version of Oracle Analytics Cloud. There are many new features like instant data visualizations, intelligent insights, automated data preparation, predictive analytics, mobile analytics, collaboration and publishing, and embedded analytics. Now the question is, what is the difference between OBI EE and OAS? Will Oracle continue developing both the products or will OAS replace OBI EE? On the differences, there are many new features introduced in OAS and there are also some features that are not available in OAS. You can refer to Oracle documentation for detailed feature set. Maybe OAS will replace OBI EE in the near future. So what all do you need to install OAS? Download the software from Oracle eDelivery, install supported Java, install WebLogic Server, install Oracle Analytics Server, run RCU, and configure OAS. To download the software, go to eDelivery.oracle.com and sign into the website. In the search bar, type Oracle Analytics Server and click on search. After the results are displayed, you can select Oracle Analytics Server. OAS software is added to the cart. Click on continue. Here you select the operating system and click continue. Accept the license agreement and click on continue. Now click on these uh, .zip files to download. Here are all the downloads in the downloads folder. I have downloaded JDK 1.8 and the last two downloads are WebLogic Server and Oracle Analytics Server. I also have extracted both the .zip files. We will start with installing JDK first. Right click on the JDK file and run as administrator. Click S, click Next, click Next. Click next. Click on close. JDK is uh, successfully installed and uh, now we will verify the Java version. Go to command prompt and just type Java hyphen version. So here we have our Java version as 1.8. After installing JDK, I'm now installing WebLogic server. The command to start the installation is java-jar and the weblogic jar file name, which is fmw12214 infrastructure.jar. If you see the command here, I have used the full path for Java. The reason for that is I did not set the path for JDK. If you set the Java path, you don't have to use the complete path here. Copy this. Go to the command prompt and make sure you're in the downloads folder. Now paste the command here and click enter. This will launch the WebLogic installation. We are in the welcome screen. Click next. Now you can skip auto updates and click next. Under the Oracle home, uh, I'm specifying C app middleware Oracle home and click next. I'll leave this as it is, Fusion Middleware Infrastructure and click Next. The prerequisite checks are successful. Click Next. And here is the installation summary. You can click on Install. This installation will take a couple of minutes. We will run it faster. Installation progress is 100%. Now click Next and click on finish. Let's go to the installation folder. It's in uh, C directory, app, middleware, Oracle home. And here is the WebLogic folder structure. Now we have to install uh, the Oracle Analytics server. It is the same process. Open the command prompt, go to the location where you have your OAS jar file, here I have in downloads v100287-01 folder. Now I am pasting this command 
same as the previous command that we used to install weblogic java hyphen jar and this time we are using the oracle analytics server dot jar file press enter this will launch oracle analytics server installation we are now on the welcome screen click next so you can skip the updates and here in the oracle home you select the same home where we installed the weblogic server that is c app or middleware oracle home and click next so prerequisites checks is complete click next this is the installation summary click on install again this is going to take some time OAS installation is 100% complete. Click next. Click on finish. The next step is to run the RCU. RCU creates metadata repositories, uh, which are database schemas uh, to store metadata for the application. Now go to C directory where the application is installed. App, middleware, Oracle home. Oracle common bin. This is where we have the RCU batch file. You can right click on that and run as administrator. This will launch the repository creation utility. This is the welcome screen. Minimize this. Click next. And uh, here you can select system load and product load since you have the DBA privileges. Click next. Now we can fill in the database information here. I did provide the host name, port number, service name, username and password. You should have sysdba privileges. Click on OK. And here uh, you can create a new prefix. Uh, by default it is populated as dev. I'm leaving that as it is. And uh, you can select the sc common schemas and uh, Oracle business intelligence schemas. I'm leaving everything default and click next. I'm using the same password for all schemas. Click next. So these are all the uh, schemas and table spaces that will be created in the database. Click next. Click OK. Click OK again. Now click on create. So this process is going to create all the required metadata schemas for the application. Repository creation completed successfully. Click on close. The next step is to configure Oracle Analytics Server. Go to C drive, app, middleware, Oracle home. Go to BI, bin. So here we have the config batch file. Right click on that and run as administrator. Click S. This will launch the configuration wizard. Minimize. We are on the welcome screen. Click next. I'm selecting both the components. Click next. Prerequisite checks completed. Click next. So here we are defining a new domain. Uh, you can leave the domain directory as default, domain name as default. If you want to change the domain, you can change it. I'm leaving it as default. Domain home, also I'm leaving it default. And I have to provide the password for WebLogic. This will be your administrator password. Click next. This is the database schema information. If you remember, we created repository uh, using RCU. Since we already created, we don't have to create a new schema. Click on use existing schemas and provide the database information. Connection string, prefix and the password. Click next. You can leave the port management as default and click next. Initial content. I don't want any initial content. I want clean installation. So I'll check clean installation and click next. So this is the summary of what we are configuring. Click on configure. The configuration started and uh, this will take some time again.
configuration completed successfully click next click on finish so we have successfully installed and configured oracle analytics server now open your browser and open your analytics page which is localhost the port is 9502 and analytics so we have the analytics page open now log in with the weblogic username and password that we created earlier initial login will take some time yep here we go we logged into analytics there are no dashboards or any reports this is a clean install so we'll not find any content nothing in shared folders now let's log into enterprise manager and as well as console for em and console the port is 9500 this is the console page log in with the same weblogic username and password open another tab and log into em as well this is the console we logged in looks almost same as obiee this is the enterprise manager login page you can log in with the same weblogic username and password this is the enterprise manager login page all the services are up and running we have successfully installed oracle analytics server and successfully configured it